How do you read a flow meter for a swimming pool system? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this system where the pump is currently operating at 1000 RPM and we're going to look at these two meters here. These two are the most common ones on the market. So, uh, you know, you're probably going to see a lot more flow meters on residential pools moving forward. But for now, if you've got one, there's a high likelihood it's one of these two. So let's take a look at both of them to see how we would read how much flow is happening right now in this system. So right now, do you see how there's kind of like a red, we'll call it a red diving board platform. What I want to do is I want to move until the two line up there. See how they just lined up? That's what I'm looking for. And that's the point that I'm going to read to determine flow. Let's get right in there. It's hard to focus at this level, but so you move your line of sight until they line up right about like that. And I would read that just a hair over 20 gallons per minute. That's how I would interpret that reading moving there just over 20 gallons per minute. One more time. And there we are, just over 20. Okay, so let's move over to the, the other flow meter that you might have. So same thing, this one here uses a float and you would read your number on the top of the float. So as you can see, if you get just at the right level, it's just over 20 gallons per minute. And that's how both of them would read. So let's go ahead and try one more, just for practice. 2000, 2000 RPM. So same thing, we want to line up that red board. And I'm going to say that that is just, just hovering over 50 gallons per minute. Let's take a look at the other one. And again, just slightly over 50 gallons per minute. So that's how you read the two most common flow meters for residential swimming pools. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.